What's up NZers and welcome back to another reaction video. I almost said family reaction video. Ooh. But the uh, the kids are actually away today because this this content is a little bit heavier. So for yeah. mature audiences. So we're going to start doing some reactions just us two. It's going to be just us. We did ask your opinion on a live and you guys were keen to see just the two of us delve into stuff that's a little bit more heavy than what we would show the kids. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So today we're going to be checking out uh, actually quite a heavily requested one. This one is the night Osama bin Laden was killed, May 1st, 2011. So wow. Definitely not something we would show the kids. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I mean, I don't know what this video consists of, but uh, anyway, let's check it out. Yeah. See what it's about. We had a division rivalry Baseball. between the Mets and the Phillies. The ballpark was full. It was a really lively atmosphere, but you know, at the time I just thought I was sitting down to do a regular baseball game. We didn't know what was going on. We just knew something special happened. And I don't know how to, to describe that when you don't know what's going on, but you know it's special. The afternoon was spent on pins and needles. I wasn't watching sports that night. Oh wow, so the operation was like underway, I guess. Ah. Like the special forces were hunting him down. Ah. That's what I'm guessing. And they were probably, the president was obviously following it. I don't know what the relationship between the baseball is. Awfully nice night for a ball game. Here in Philadelphia, the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies Sunday night baseball. Massive. You know, it's always a rivalry when a New York team and a Philadelphia team get together. I think for the most part we respected one another, but I think certainly we didn't like each other. When I was wearing red and white pants, I couldn't stand orange, black, and blue. I just couldn't. The Mets Phillies rivalry, it's based on proximity. There's a little bit of a big brother, little brother issue going on, I think. It's always extra special, obviously. That rivalry is always electric atmosphere. Even in our production meeting prior to, I remember someone making the point that this is the only show in town. And by that, I mean really the only major sporting event going on across the country. And that's not often the case. So we're well into the game here. No two count of the lead. On the swing of the foul tip held by Paulino. Lee strikes out. One down. Uh, I'm watching the game. We have uh, monitors here. Watching Twitter on the laptop. And the White House reporters that I follow. They started talking back and forth about the president has called a news conference. Our news editor, Claire Smith, passed a note along at some point to me, POTUS news conference tonight. To me, honestly, you know, I'm locked in on what's going on in the field. I'm not even factoring in what this could mean. And Young strikes him out as the Phillies leave the bases loaded here in the seventh inning. Can't wait to go to a baseball game. That seems like it runs late. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a late game. Ball game, and the time run was on base, and Ryan Howard's coming up. But all of a sudden, you become aware of something else. I looked down at my phone, and I got a text from a buddy who always watched games, and he said they got Bin Laden. Bobby nudged me with his elbow and showed me his phone. You know, this isn't in the play-by-play -play handbook. They don't tell you how to deal with this one. Hmm. There were rumors that Osama bin Laden had been, uh, you know, the United States had got him and that they'd killed him. Tom Archer, our producer, right away said, we're trying to corroborate it. Don't say anything yet. We're preparing a statement. Uh, so you try to put it out of your mind for a second and you keep calling the game. They've only got two hits in this game. They've got three hits in this game. Mayberry getting the wave. The throw from Bay Man, they can throw it so far. And the Phillies have tied it. When we understood what was happening and that this was less a rumor and more fact, we said we're going to bring the announcers on camera at the end of the eighth inning. Now ball to second, inning over. Some breaking news for those of you who have been with us on the ball game. ABC News is reporting that Osama bin Laden has been killed, and a presidential news conference is upcoming momentarily. 
I think thereafter, we had our eyes open for when that bit of news was going to find its way into the 40,000 plus people who were at Citizens Bank Park. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, how are they gonna announce it? At the very beginning of the ninth inning, um, my now wife, fiance at the time, just happened to be on her phone, I guess. Um, it wasn't the most entertaining game for her. On CNN, an article popped up about, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but it looks like Bin Laden has been killed. And then, you know, I, I turned to my fiance and said, hey, look at this, this is something. My friend next to me, she suddenly lets out a, oh my God, we killed Bin Laden. After that, it just, everything changed. There were two events going on at once. Hmm. Wow. One was a baseball game, and one is a hugely significant world event, which people, one by one, are finding out about around the ballpark. Oh, their faces. Far out. Once the word was started to leak out, we were told to find people sharing cell phone information with people beside them, find people that were excited jumping up and down that night. It was pretty easy to find good shots. That's when I decided to pull out my phone. It just kind of struck me as the, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of moment. place in the world right now where there are more Americans gathered than in that ballpark mm -hmm. and they were all experiencing this rush of emotion simultaneously and spontaneously the players of course had no idea what was going on oh, very yeah, early sure. you hear USA chants break out you know out of nowhere yeah so it's kind of just a, a bit of a state of confusion then yeah, you get locked weird. in your mm -hmm. bag and I'm thinking what national team's playing and who they're playing and who they're playing. Yeah. <laughs> How can you make that soccer link? soccer game going on. I thought maybe there was a hockey game going on. I was confused, and it kind of took me off of what I was doing. Just missed outside of the knees. And a base runner for the Mets here in the ninth inning at a 1-1 tie. Wright is running and steals it. Let's go down to field level with Wendy Nix, Wendy. Well, Dan, you're exactly right. As word begins to filter through the ballpark about Osama bin Laden, the players, at least in the Phillies dugout, are clearly unaware. They don't have the same devices that we have. I was directly adjacent to the Phillies dugout. They're looking at me, you know, and they're looking at each other. They're looking <laughs> at their, their manager. And the obvious question, do you know what's going on? And here comes the USA chat again. Wow, this mm -hmm. <laughs> is crazy. The players are the last ones to find out. I know. What a moment, though. Yeah. It's for them. We didn't know what was going on. We just knew something special happened. And you're in an out, but you're in an in. You're a part of it, but part of what? Jason Bay is going to be the batter. I got no idea what's going on, and I'm Canadian, and I'm <laughs> thinking, I've been calling a lot of things, especially in Philly, but, you know, the, the USA thing, they're, they're trying to get under my skin. Two on, two out. Oh, oh that's what he thought. <laughs> oh. In the air to center field. In and over. Oof. That's Everybody's so coming into the dugout, and we're all kind of looking at each other, and you know, see the chants are still going, and we're sitting there going, "Okay, what's happening here?" And the trainer kind of breaks the news to all of us. That's kind of how it spreads, is is by that word of mouth. Obviously, you know, no question, the baseball game becomes secondary to, mm -hmm. you know, the news and, and the president, you know, addressing the country, you know, a few minutes after that. The White House has just announced it. Uh, the president will address the nation about one minute from now. Wow. 11.35. Good evening. 
Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. What we remembered right away was uh, the chance that we started hearing outside the White House. And, you know, my working assumption was is that if people had gathered that quickly outside of the White House, chanting USA, USA, then across the country, the same thing was taking place. Oh, wow, so everyone just gathered around. And that's a strike away from victory. I guess that's kind of fitting that the New York team won. Yeah. Here we are, team from New York, team from Philadelphia, rivals, playing one another, trying to knock each other's teeth out, but the game isn't that significant anymore. It's weird uh, just being able to high five and hug Phillies fans <laughs> and have that common ground. Fans you're supposed to be enemies with. All of a sudden, I hate Mets fans. It became a moment of celebration, <laughs> a moment of pride. For one night, you know, it wasn't Philadelphia, New York. It was the United States of America coming together. That's wow. something special. Mm -hmm. Gosh. That was, uh, wow, almost 10 years after yeah. September 11th. I remember, I, I remember that. Yeah. Um, that announcement. Yeah, I vaguely remember it too. Yeah. Um, I didn't know, I didn't really know that all of America celebrated like that though. Yeah. I mean, from no. here, the news just filtered down. It obviously. broke, but there was obviously no celebration. Yeah, but we didn't really have that sort of atmosphere, and I guess those emotional ties to what that meant. Yeah. But uh, watching how that affected, like, every single American, that yeah. news, it's something that I actually didn't know well, happened. Ten years of, like, hunting, hunting yeah. him down and stuff. And yeah. he really was. I think he was the face of evil. He was, like, yeah. He was, like, plastered as It was a, his name. Yeah. You know? His name like, and his face. Yeah. That was kind of put... Uh, I always remember those photos of his face. Yeah, me too. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. All the Al-Qaeda stuff and everything. Yeah. 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 I mean, occasionally we would get little updates and stuff and... Yeah. And everything like that. And I think he started to, yeah, run out of hiding places. Yeah. And they got him. Yeah, I would actually did. like to watch a video on the actual... I think there's a video that you can watch on the actual uh, operation. Really? That they did. Yeah. And like how they planned it and how they found him and everything. Mm, so, let us know if you guys want us to check that out. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments. Yeah. Um, and if there's any other cool videos like this. Because yeah. that, that's it's cool. Just I just love seeing that, um, you know, all the patriots just yeah. come out and just celebrate together. Yeah. 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 It's, it's pretty <laughs> special what what the USA has got yeah. in terms of how they come together. Yeah. Um, and there's, you know, they're like the brotherhood that's there, I guess. All the USA chanting. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. camaraderie. Yeah. We yeah. don't have that here so much. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, make sure you smash the like button and also comment down below. Like we said, let us know if there's any other videos that we should check out. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the post notification bell. All the usual stuff. If you want to check out our merch, make sure you, make sure you go and check out the link down in the description. And also there's GoFundMe, there's Patreon, there's Instagram. Yeah. All the good stuff. All the stuff. Down. But if you've got any videos that you want us to check out, just the two of us. Yeah. We're going to be doing this a bit more often as well. Something a little heavy. Yeah, stuff yeah. that we had previously not yeah. gone for more adult uh orientated yeah content yeah. like there's an i think there's another coin that we need to check out called the uh what would happen if there was world war three how would the u.s respond to world war three yeah okay stuff like that that yeah. we just don't really, really want to show the kids yeah yeah for yeah. sure and that's it for this video guys we love you and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.